What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. This is your May 2022 releases. Without further ado, let's get started. So starting off with the 1 to 400 releases, we have uh, quite a veteran aircraft from American Airlines Lockheed L-1011, or not L-1011, we have an L-188 Electra. Registration is number 6118 Alpha. Uh, and the price is 5095. Now, I don't know why Gemini would choose to release this kind of model. Um, I know that there is a market for retro collectors, but it's not nearly as big as the market for people who collect modern aircraft. So, uh, I don't think this model is going to sell well at all. Anywho, moving on down the line, this model I know is going to be very popular. Uh, this is a Breeze A220, registration number 203 Bravo Zulu. I believe Gemini is the first company to release both the Breeze E195 and Breeze A220. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely going to sell really fast as uh, this is the only company right now that has uh, these two molds and are able to produce it. So uh, yeah, the price on this is $50.95 by the way. Moving on to the line, Gemini's prices are getting quite ridiculous. $70, 69 dollars 95 for 747-400F that is interactive. So the registration is Bravo 2473. Uh, now I understand that it's an interactive model, but you really shouldn't charge customers more than maybe perhaps um 55 60 dollars especially if it's an interactive model because those are ng prices and also gemini is known to be lower quality uh one thing that i do know though is that their 747 mold is a little bit better than the competition but um yeah continuing on down the line we have a jsx uh ember erj 145 now this is gonna sell really well uh because obviously gemini just is based in las vegas and this is a model that's or a airline company that's based on the west coast so this model is gonna sell really well registration is number 241 juliet x-ray and let's see how ridiculous the price is 46.95 for an ember year 145 beyond me anywho moving on to yet another retro model we have a national airline 727-300 i believe it is 200 uh registration is november 4732 and it's 52.95 and here we have yet another 747 Interactive. This is a Polar 747-400 Interactive. Registration is number 450 Papa Alpha and 450PA, and it's $69.95. Now, in this release, we actually have two uh, Gemini Max models. We have a C-17 in the March Air Force Base scheme. Uh, registration is, as I believe, 05. Yeah, 055140. Uh, the price on the C-17 is $52.95. And then we have a Boeing KC-135R in the main, I believe it is. Uh, yes, it is main ANG. Registration is 580098. Uh, and it's $54.95. Continuing on to the 1 to 200 models, we have a Fokker uh, F-100 in their uh, Windham, Australia, London, England livery or south cross minor i believe it's called uh, i believe this is supposed to honor an australian aviator who made it all the way to uh london from australia in the 1920s or 30s uh registration on this is victor hotel uniform quebec golf and it's 82.95 and here we have two triple seven three hundred yards both of them are american airlines november 736 alpha tango uh just one is normal livery and the other one is flaps down so there really is no difference inside the flaps and so it's 153 dollars for a normal version and if you want the tiny flaps detail you're gonna be paying nine dollars more which to me at this point the prices are just getting ridiculous with gemini but uh yeah moving on we have an asiana or asiana triple seven 200 er registration is hotel lima 8284 it is scale one to 200 and the price is 153 dollars and here, if you want a Twin Otter, you're going to pay $72. At this point, Gemini Jets might as well just stop selling models because this is getting absolutely ridiculous with how expensive their models are getting. I mean, come on, $70 for a Twin Otter and one to 200 uh, Registration on this is November 24 Romeo Mike and 24 RM. And yeah, it's $72, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Here we have a Delta Connection, CRJ200, 8295, registration is number 685, Bravo Romeo. 
So if you feel like throwing your money down the drain, this will be a good model for you to get. Uh, anywho, continuing on, we have a Etihad cargo um, f- opening optional doors open sort of aircraft. Registration is Alpha 6 Delta Delta Echo. Uh, and the price is $160. That is literally, in the United States, uh, in the United States, that is literally the price of a plane ticket from here in newark down to miami florida which is just absolutely ridiculous in my mind and here we have two southwest 77700s both of them are california one registration number 943 which you can remember uh one of them is uh the cheapest one which is 100 dollars 95 cents uh which is just a normal version and the flaps and slats extended one is 104.95 so you pay four dollars more on a 77700 for flaps down and mother 200 and moving on to the final model of this release, we have a Lockheed C-130H in the Delaware ANG livery. Uh, registration, or not livery, tail flash, should I say. Uh, registration is 901057, and it's almost $100 for a C-130. Now, if you may notice, this is a little bit uh, weirder than my normal sort of um, monthly release videos, because I'm just done with Gemini's overpricing i mean fifty dollars for a one to four hundred at twenty seventy dollars for a china southern 747 um almost 170 dollars 160 dollars but it's gonna be 170 with shipping for an etihad triple seven f and one to 200 these prices are getting expensive i remember just a year and a half ago you'd be paying this exact price 159.95 for an emirates a380 in one to 200 so why are you raising the prices gemini this is absolutely pointless but obviously as we all know they don't like listening to commentary about their models anywho with that being said that does conclude this video i'm personally not getting anything from this release but if you are feel free to comment down below and with that being said thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video As always, goodbye.